Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Investors Cube. In this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 investing books. Before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. According to a Gallup poll conducted, little over half of Americans own stock, and whether or not someone owned stock was closely tied to household income and educational level, among other characteristics. In fact, 85% of individuals with postgraduate degrees and 84% of households earning $100,000 or more remind the category of those who own stock, while only 22% of households earning less than $40,000 were among those who own stock. If you're one of the 45% of Americans who aren't involved in the stock market, or if you already have an investment portfolio and just want to see it grow, then keep watching for our recommendations for the finest investing books available. Please note that the information shared in this video does not in any manner intend to be taken as a piece of investment or financial advice. The content in this video is so curated to suffice for the purpose of being informative and educational. You are requested to conduct your diligent market research or consult an expert in this regard to make better investment decisions. With that being said, let's get into it. Number 10. Best Overall – The Intelligent Investor Despite the fact that Benjamin Graham's The Intelligent Investor was initially published in 1949, his lessons are still widely followed today. The book is centered on his well-known value investing method, which is the practice of purchasing stocks at a discount to their intrinsic value. In other words, equities that are currently undervalued by the market in order to maximize returns. Readers will learn how to make money in the stock market without taking huge risks, and they will also learn how to deal with the emotional side of investing in The Intelligent Investor. This revised edition includes comments and footnotes by financial journalist Jason Zweig, which brings the book up to date and gives it a contemporary feel. Number 9. Runner-Up Best Overall – The Little Book of Common Sense Investing If you are unfamiliar with index funds, you are not familiar with investing. This book is entitled The Little Book of Common Sense Investing, the Vanguard Group's founder, John C. Bogle, has written a book that focuses on precisely that. It certainly describes Bogle's low-cost index fund investment technique, as well as recommendations on how to make index fund investing work for you and your portfolio in easy and understandable language. This 10th anniversary edition has been revised to provide fresh material that is relevant to today's marketplace. Despite this, it continues to be a must-read for any and all investors. Bogle is also the author of the books Common Sense on Mutual Funds and Enough, among other titles. Number 8. Best on Real Estate Investing – The Book on Rental Property Investing Investing isn't just for the stock market. Real estate investing is a fantastic opportunity to accumulate money as well. As a result, Brandon Turner's The Book on Rental Property Investing is a must-read for anybody interested in real estate investing. From typical mistakes made by real estate investors and how to prevent them, to recommendations for locating bargain rental properties, to how to finance rental properties, this book is jam-packed with useful information on how to develop your own rental property income streams. Real estate investor Turner is also the co-host of the Bigger Pockets podcast, which he co-created. Number 7. Best for Beginners – A Beginner's Guide to the Stock Market an introduction to the stock market is provided in A Beginner's Guide to the Stock Market, which covers everything a reader may want to know about stocks, including, most crucially, how to earn money on them. In this book, written by New York Times best-selling author and former hedge fund manager Matthew Kratter, you'll learn everything from the basics of investing to common investor blunders and how to avoid them. You'll also learn where and how to open a brokerage account, buy your first stock, and even how to earn passive income from stocks. Number 6. Best for Basics, the only investment guide you'll ever need. However, despite the fact that it was published in the 1970s, when he was working as a writer for New York Magazine, no less, Andrew Tobias's The Only Investment Guide You'll Ever Need continues to be relevant today. The book includes advice on how to grow wealth, no matter what your financial situation, how to best prepare for retirement, and even everyday tactics that can save you a lot of money over the long term, all delivered in the author's usual funny and plain writing style. In addition, this revised version applies these lessons to the current market. Tobias is the author of the New York Times best-selling novels Fire and Ice and The Invisible Bankers, as well as a contributor to Time, Esquire, and Parade magazines on financial regulation. Number 5. Best Memoir – Rich Dad, Poor Dad 
A lot of people have heard of Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, and for good reason. It is one of the most popular personal finance books of all time. The book tells the story of the author's childhood growing up with both his father and his friend's father, as well as what he learned from both fathers about everything from assets and liabilities, to how you don't need a large income to make money, and even what your children aren't learning in school, among other things, but should be. The book was first released in 1997, but Kiyosaki has modified it for the 20th anniversary edition, which includes a new instruction. Number 4. Best for Millennials – The Money Manual To begin investing but are unsure where to begin, Tonya Rapley's The Money Manual is an excellent resource for millennials who are unsure what to do with their money in general, or who are simply unsure what to do with their money at all. Simple money management skills, creating financial objectives, improving and developing credit, and even how to deal with student loan debt are some of the subjects covered. In addition to being the founder of MyFab Finance, Rapley has written for publications such as Forbes, The New York Daily News, Refinery29, and Vogue. Number 3. Best Classic Think and Grow Rich Think and Grow Rich, the best-selling book by Napoleon Hill, is equal parts motivational advice and financial counsel. To support his distinctive law of success theory or the ideas that will help one achieve success, Hill aggregates anecdotes from business legends such as Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, and Thomas Edison. Hill's stories include those of Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, and Thomas Edison. It was first published in 1937 and has since gone on to sell more than 15 million copies worldwide. This revised edition contains commentary from Arthur R. Pell, Ph.D., an author, lecturer, and consultant who has worked on a variety of projects. Number 2. Best for Women The Women's Guide to Successful Investing Was it ever brought to your attention that, according to a recent survey by S&P Global, only 26% of American women have made investments in the stock market? It's past time to make a difference. The Women's Guide to Successful Investing, written by Nancy Tengler, covers a wide range of topics, from wealth accumulation tactics to market analysis to advice tailored specifically for female investors. Tengler is a columnist, author, and professional who has more than two decades of professional investing experience under her belt. She has also been on a variety of television shows, including CNBC, PBS, CNN, and others. Number 1. Best Skill Building – One Up on Wall Street do you want to one-up the competition? So who better to learn from than one of the most illustrious investors in the history of the world? The book One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch focuses on how average investors can outperform the pros by simply identifying daily investment possibilities before they are discovered by the pros. This is referred to as locating a 10-bagger. Alternatively, investing in a stock that increases in value tenfold after you purchase it, Lynch is the Vice Chairman of Fidelity Management and Research Company and a former Portfolio Manager of the Fidelity Magellan Fund. He is also the co-author of the best-selling books Beating the Street and Learn to Earn, which were both published in 2007. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informational, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to press the bell notification to never miss out on any new updates from us. And also don't forget to comment on your opinion on investing. We'll see you all in our next one. Till then, goodbye.